time to have some fun. Keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's the way to bring it. Come on, y'all. We got this.
That's a good game, yeah. my boy. Yeah, good game. You were, you, you were hooping out there. Oh, you saw me out there, man. Hey, by the way, man, I'm good off the sunglasses, man. You can keep them. You know what? I'm a man of my word, though. You're taking these glasses. Bro, bro, bro. I'm serious. Keep them, man. Don't make me tell you again, bro. They're all yours. All right, man, if you insist. Yeah, put them on, man. How your boy look? They look better on me, but you can pull them <laughs> off. So the Lakers win the tip. We have just about a half season behind us. The rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. Do you feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions? Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. Injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. Beasley against Beal. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. Out to Porzingis. Launches it. And a clear foul there as he shot. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. A nice shot by MP. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. And Gafford throws it down. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Beasley with a clean look. No good on the three. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. The shot's good. I love when Beal slashes to the rim like this, using that athleticism and speed so well. MP, and that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. MP's got his second basket of the night. We've seen a quick start here for the Wizards. It's a three-point game. Here's Beal. And the rejection by MP. Davis kicks to James. Floats it up for James. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Right, the pass to Gaffer. Banked in off the glass. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Outside, Davis. MP sets the screen for Davis. And the rejection by Gafford. Kispert, the pass to Beal. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. In the corner, it's Gafford. Lock at six. Back to Beal. The 17-footer. 
They get a bet. Another shot, and it's Porzingis laying it in. Porzingis has got five points so far. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. And MP throws it down. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Washington leading now by three. Outside, Beal. Right with a screen on Beasley. Here's Beal. And too long on the shot. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. It's LeBron. Oh, wow! Oh, that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Beal can't get it to go. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And it's right with the ball for Washington. They trail by one. Here's Gafford, and Gafford throws it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Beasley, the pass to MP. Back to Beasley, shoots over Beal. No good off the back of the rim. Wizards have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. To the middle, here's Gafford. Pays it up and in off the pretty assist. Eight points for him. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Expectations for the Lakers are always high. And it's led to some disappointment in the past few seasons. And he'll shoot free throws here. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Most proven veteran players in the league, too. And when healthy, that pays big dividends. But if those vets lose time to injury, it can be tough to have success. We've seen that happen in L.A., Kevin. You know, over the last couple seasons, it, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster is in constant flux. I mean, from role players to all-stars, guys coming in and out. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Right with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Another one falls for Washington. For Washington, how difficult, Greg, is it to win when your roster changes, as you were just talking about? It changes so much from year to year. It's really tough. I mean, take Spencer Dinwiddie. You know, he signs a big three-year deal traded six months later so when things like that happen it, it's so difficult to create chemistry any chance you get you want to put yourself in a position to succeed and that's what he did there great job of reading the floor got to the rim and made a play there's Beal with the three scores for only the second time tonight now two for six from the field and that's money from Beal. He's so crafty at finding space in that deep corner. MP finds Beasley. Back to MP. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket. Yeah, I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Abdiaz checked in for Washington. Morris comes in for DeLon Wright. Morris with the screen for Kispert. Beal with it. Picked up by Davis. Outside, Beal. Trying to find Porzingis. Gets it to him. And the rejection by MP. Drives to the hoop. And the dunk by MP. The passing of LeBron is so special. So talented at finding his wide open teammates. Beal dishes to Morris. Beal with a screen on Russell. Outside for Beal. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Beal's got eight points. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Loads it up for Davis. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. What a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Outside Beal. From the arc, Abdia can't hit. LA's gone 0-2 from deep here. 
MP passes to Davis. Two free throws coming up. Vinny Avdia. That's his first personal foul. Second Kevin AD does everything on the court that you ask of him. He can defend in space and guard just about anybody. Along with being a force on the offensive side, he's a terrific talent. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Brown is checked in for James. Lonnie Walker comes in for Malik Beasley. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And stolen by MP. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that. It's on Przingis. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of get to the rim. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. What about possession? Here's Morris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Outside, Brzingis. Back to Morris. It's stolen by Schroeder. a dunk by Vanderbilt. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang! Straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Morris kicks to Porzingis. The Wizards with another miss. Yeah, they got that one, but early on it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Wizards trail by five. Avdia. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. To the inside. And MP throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Time called here. Here's Davis. He's got 10. And Russell with the basket on the assist by Davis. And it's six points for D'Angelo Russell. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Top it forward, the star pairing of LeBron and Davis. Malik Beasley out there with Russell. And it's MP in at the center position. That's the Laker five. And with an update from the sidelines. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against Denver delivered quite a performance. He had 60 points and came out of nowhere defensively, blocking shot after shot in an incredible effort. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind the Same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious he was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. MP. Oh, Russell in position. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. 13 feet away, and it's right missing. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. No good. Only a second miss and 10 attempts from the floor. Avdia dishes to right. And the rejection by MP! Inside, Davis. And Davis throws it down. We've seen a lot of that through the years. AD getting to the rim and finishing with bad intentions. Russell against Wright. Here's Avdia. That one doesn't drop. Good defense by MP. Beasley against Beal. And 
the dunk by MP. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Peel against Beasley. Outside, Beal. Pass to Persingas to stop the drought. A rebound by the Lakers. MP's got four rebounds in this game. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Down low, stolen by Abdi. Careful, don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. As a well-known three-point shooter that you were, Steve, what do you think about how that shot dominates the modern game we watch today? What I love about Kevin, first of all, it gives you spacing, spacing, spacing. Right back into it. And also, at the end of a game, you knock down three or four in a row, the game is over. Let me hear you. Here's Persingas. And James pulls it down. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. He's looking for MP and finds him. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. The pass to Beal. The wide open look here for Perzingis. His three pointers off the mark. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. MP passes to Davis. Back to MP. And the dunk by MP. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And right kicks to Abdia. The Wizards with another miss. I don't know how many misses that is in a row. But I know it's ugly. They get the rebound. Here's MP. Nice D from Porzingis. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. This is to Omnia. Wow, through the cover. Number 95. His third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the winter, Denny Avdia taking three shots. Teammates playing team basketball and their focus. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. Outside, Russell. It's tipped and stolen by Wright. Two minutes remaining. Here's Kispert. <laughs> and contact on the shot. Second personal foul. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? The Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I, I go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Time now for an injury report. Now the Hall of Famer David Aldridge will join us. He is in. Number 95. His fourth personal ball. At the line for the Wizards. So it's Los Angeles cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. Welcome. The first half is in the books, so let's check out the top performers for each check. Did you enjoy testing your star power against other greats in the league? Yeah, but no one can outshine me on the court because they were stars, but I'm a whole constant. Now let's talk about our game tonight. A nightmare of a first half for the Washington Wizards. Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. Thanks for joining us. And 
And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been. Don't let up, MP! Don't let up! Checking out now the group for Wes Unsell Jr. to start the second half. Avdia out there with Kispert. Then there's Bradley Beal, and there's Porzingis, and it's right in at the point guard position. Avdia, the pass to Beal. Comes up empty down low. Los Angeles has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. MP sets the screen for James. And the dunk by MP. Well, LeBron garners so much defensive attention. That's how he's able to dominate the game as a facilitator. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Russell against Wright. Pass to Kispert. Outside Beal. Screen by Porzingis. And Beal kicks to Kispert. Here's Wright. The shot. No good. The Lakers go the other way with it. Starting the half with three straight misses. Not how they envisioned this one. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Outside, Brzingis. Wizards keeping it alive in a fresh 14-second shot clock. Right with it. Picked up by Davis. No good off the front iron. Ouch. Five shots without a main. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. MP sets the screen for Russell. That shot, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And that one's good. Right. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course... Lakers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. We thank you for your report. Wow, we are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Wright finds Porzingis. Here's Kispert. Wizards passing it around. Porzingis can't hit. MP with the bounce pass. And stolen by Wright. Avdia with it. Beasley covering. And another miss by Washington. Lakers leading by 23. James looking it over. Kicks it out to Beasley. The Lakers rebound. There's Russell with the three. He doesn't hit that one. Washington's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Berzingis with a screen on Beasley. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level. And the promise that got him that last four-year deal. LeBron outside. There's the pick to the paint. Deflects the pass. Clock at four. Loads it up for Davis. Throws down the alley oop slam. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. The Lakers making a switch here. Gabriel's checked in, and then for Washington, Taj Gibson's checked in for Pazingas. And Todd subbed in for Avdia. 
Beal against Beasley. Gibson setting the pick for Beal. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Lakers here. Morris has checked in. Monte Morris. Lakers have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Here's MP. Lays it up off the glass. 34 points for MP. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Gets it. And the rejection by MP. Kicks it out to Beasley. Back to MP. And he uses the glass on the lane. MP's got eight here in the quarter. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. And they've also not only created turnovers tonight, but converted on them. All game long, that strategy has been paying off. Oh! Uh -oh. My goodness, that was absolutely Filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Morris passes to Gibson. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got eight rebounds in this game. Beasley kicks to MP. And foul on the shot. The free throw line. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line. Their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Troy Brown's checked in for James. Ronnie Walker comes in for Malik Beasley. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Here's Walker. He takes it in. Brown the pass to MP. Misses from short range. The Wizards shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. And it's Goodwin in the corner. On the wing, Morris. Goodwin sets a screen for Morris. Shot clock at six. Shot clock reset for Washington. Back to Gibson. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not. Well, they have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. Good on the second free throw. And here's none. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. From 12 feet out. And that one goes long. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. And that'll be two free throws. A call with the foul. The Lakers have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Justin Jackson, he's checked in for top. And the second free throw, good. And none has got the ball here for Washington. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Jackson, a screen on Brown from 11 feet away. Tries again, and no problem from Gibson as he finishes at the rim. Gibson's got his second basket of the night. That's the kind of energy Gibson gives you, destroying opponents on the glass. Tough to box this guy out. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Jackson, a screen on Brown. Morris, outside. Jackson with the screen. Morris passes to Gibson. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Here's MP. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. On a screen on Vanderbilt. Gibson dishes to Morris. It's stolen by Schroeder. 
Experiment. Morris outside. Outside for Jackson. Let's it go from deep. And it's MP with the rebound. LA has gotten blank from three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Schroeder. A three pointer off the mark. Washington shooting just 31% in the game. Gibson looking it over. Passes it to Nunn. No good that time. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Brown finds Schroeder. Floats it up for MP. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And here's Morris for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Morris has got six. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. MP passes the ball. And he gets the whistle. Two. That's his first personal foul. Angeles calls timeout. The Lakers with the ball. Gabriel, the pass to MP. And the basket by Vildoza. Vildoza's got himself on the board with three there. Uh, late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this. Smoke That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. For the Lakers. The topic of parity is always front and center with the NBA. So, Steve, how do you see the balance in the league these days? Well, Kevin, the NBA's done a good job of trying to keep financial equality between teams. But the biggest stars want to play in the biggest markets. So parity will always be a factor. Goodwin feeling it out. Feeds it to Gibson. That shot off the mark. Good defense by MP. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. They have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Free throw good, MP. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until the end. That's his second personal foul. At the line. Lines have changed. Los Angeles Number making a switch here. Five. Schroeder's checked in. He throw no good for MP. The second chance effort. Hits it again. Wow. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Washington's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. And Gibson kicks to Morris. Kicks it out to Gibson to end the run. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got four assists in the game. That's where you want your big man doing damage. Gibson showing his skill in the paint. Here's James, and the dunk by LeBron. A great feed, and, and that assist gives him a triple-double. You, you gotta love that kind of player, able to get it done in just about every facet. Pass to Gibson. Down low. And the rejection by MP. We talk about players, we talk about coaches and GMs, but not too much about owners and their effect on the game and the organization. Kevin, the owners for me are A1. It starts from the top. They're the ones who hire the team president, GMs, and coaches. And certainly, there are some teams who have some great owners. Five on the clock. Here's Todd. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Here's MP to the middle. 
Schroeder dishes to MP. And he makes that one. MP's got 55. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. To the inside. Here's Gibson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Gibson's got four points this quarter. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. MP, no good. Wizards shooting just 29% in this game. They are not a pretty sight out there offensively. Morris finds Gibson. Up top, Morris. Takes a three. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Los Angeles. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books, that'll be win number 27. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for MP. <laughs> oh, his array of talents on full display. Picks up the triple-double, really takes ownership of this game. I thought that made the difference for them tonight. Morris outside. Inside, and it's Gibson finishing it off. Gibson with those long arms, always on the prowl to slam it home. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. And that's just just there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Walker's checked in for the Lakers. And then for Washington, Porzingis, he's checked in for Gibson. Avdia comes in for Todd. And Kispert subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. To the paint. Porzingis has the open look. And another miss by Washington. And here's Los Angeles. Here's MP. Yet another bucket. Make that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Hope you are supporting your team. Please drive home safely. And we'd like to see you again at the next event. Congrats on the win tonight. Your playmaking was terrific, even as they turned up the pressure on D. Thanks, CG. You know, I'm just happy to get this win. You know, it's easy when you got a bunch of teammates like I do that can step up and knock down shots whenever you need. You know, this team is stacked, and I feel like we're just scratching the surface of what we're capable of. Yeah, well, it looked like you're starting to figure out the balance between looking for your shot and passing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all preparation right there, you know. Coach drills us on every scenario, so we know what to do if this guy is crowding us on the screen or if they're doubling the ball handler. You know, when everyone is getting open spots, you know, it makes it an easy decision to pass instead of chucking up a contested shot. Well, congrats on the win. 